How did you? Oh, it's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Catherick and took his netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been... brittle. It's rebelling against Orin and Gortash. Fiercely. I suspected that when we took Catherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders. And I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An Elder Brain enslaved is one thing. An Elder Brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while, now that you are here. Your company isn't unwelcome. Trying to guard us. The brain is restless, but I am distracted, and my lack of focus is endangering us. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. Indeed. Duke Stelmain. Or as I knew her, Berlin, when she was alive. You thought you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was... different from my relationship with you. In life, she was my business partner. Back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a mind flayer. Duke Stelmain trusted me, and the city trusted her. I conceived the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. I appreciate your understanding. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach. And not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. You have shown me great empathy. We are closer now. Close enough, I hope, that I can ask you to reconsider your position regarding your physical form. I know it is no easy choice for you, but we will have a far better time ridding the city of Gortash if you accept just a touch of illithidness. Not to mention the Elder Brain itself. Our chances against it greatly improve the more illithid we both are. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. And so do you. <laughs> 